Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Wednesday. It's coffee day. And we are going to try something different that doesn't look very impressive, but we'll see. So um, hopefully you like what we are doing here. Make sure you do hit that like. It means a lot to me. Go ahead and subscribe too. Most of you don't subscribe that watch this video. So go ahead and just subscribe really quick. And um, later on down the road, if you get tired of us, go ahead and unsubscribe. It doesn't matter, but it'd be nice to show that you're interested by subscribing. All right, so we are going to be looking at <clears throat> Am so Amanatoli, 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 coffee from Mexico. This is their dark roast uh, coffee Mexicano, coffee from Mexico. Um, it's really cool bag, I think. Um, it's a cloth bag, but um, it's got that little um, Day of the Dead uh, mask on it. I can't tell if you can see, but I'll try to put one up here. And um, it doesn't have a lot of information even on the web page for it, um, the primary web page. Now, there are review web pages I didn't look at, um, and there are sales web pages I kind of look at, but none of them tell me what kind of beans, whether it's Arabica or a, a Robusta or a mix. <clears throat> it doesn't say. Usually in that case, it's going to be 100% Arabica. It's possible it's a mix, um, but usually when they say Robusta, or if it's Robusta, they'll say it. So, not sure. Uh, but this little bag here, and it's only 250 grams, so probably what, six to eight ounces, um, was around 10 to 12 US dollars. So, um, coffee ain't cheap anymore, even outside of the US, which is sad. But now, the first thing I noticed when I opened it, it seemed almost like a freeze dried coffee. Um, it was ground kind of uh, roughly, but <laughs> it's really hard to explain because it, it has the weight and almost looks like it's freeze dried, like it's an instant coffee. And so I was like a little bit hesitant. Also the aroma right away was a little bit fungal and um, kind of musty. Um, not your normal earthy chocolatey tones of coffee. Um, so there's no, I, uh, no way of knowing how long this stayed on the counter. It does say uh, Lotte Mex 2022-08. Um, I don't know what Lotte means, um, but there is that date. So I don't know if that's the grind date or use by date. Oh, there's also a 10, 20, or 22 10 so October 22nd of 2024, that's probably the used by date. And so the August of 22 was the um, uh, grind date. But it smells very musty, like it's old. The second thing I noticed after brewing it is very light. And I actually put, because it felt like it's freeze dried, I put a lot of uh, uh, grinds in there more than I normally do. And so this is almost a tea. I don't know if you can tell, but um, let's see. Well, up against my face, it looks dark. Um, but to me, it's very light colored. The aroma smells like a coffee, a very light, and this is supposed to be dark, a very light, chocolatey, um, woody, earthy coffee to it. Not a lot of bitterness. So it doesn't smell unlike a coffee when you brew it. It just smells musty and um, kind of old when I opened it. Not bad. Um, not very bold, like it's supposed to be a bold um, dark roast and it's not too dark to me. Um, it does, doesn't, um, not too bad, I would say. Um, sorry, a little lost at the words. I lost my main monitor, so, <laughs> but I can see the camera lights on, so I'm good. Very smooth, not acidic, not bitter. Um, actually, it's really decent. I would say definitely worth picking up. Um, 
it just would like to read a little bit more about it. Um, I'm gonna have to do some translation software uh, because it does feel like a uh, instant coffee when you open it, but it brewed fine. Um, might try doing it actually in a mocha pot and see if that makes a difference. But it did brew fine and it tastes fine. That first initial aroma when you open the package was um, a little off-putting. But otherwise, this is a pretty decent cup of coffee. I wish it was a little darker for being um, a dark coffee. But it's got the right notes of chocolate. Um, no sweetness though. Chocolate, um, dark chocolate, um, a little bit of earthy, nutty, um, tones to it, not any bitterness, so it's a well um, roasted coffee. So yeah, it's a cool little bag. Um, unfortunately, the inner bag where the coffee is, is just completely silver. Oh, and I put a knot in the tie string. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but it's a completely silver bag. So without the bag, you're not gonna know what the coffee is. So the bag is definitely a must. And we are not going to get this <clears throat> not undone. So we're going to move on. Uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. Uh, remember to watch all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Um, we put one out. Every once in a while we skip a day because of some event. But as you can see, it's completely silver. Um, either an event or just a timing issue. Uh, try not to lose a day, but we have been uh, recently. And uh, yeah. Tell us what coffee to try next. Uh, I think we have a couple more coffees from Mexico. My wife is headed to the UK uh, today. In fact, as you're watching this episode, she'll be uh, probably boarding her plane and uh, hopefully she'll pick up some coffees for us. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow for whiskey and uh, coming up on the weekend. Cheers, everybody.